What's good, Cray Gang? We're out here and we're about to go fishing. Right now, the time is 7 o'clock and it's okay because school starts at 7.45. We got a little bit of time, but not much. Now, even though it is 28 degrees out here, I still wanted to come out here simply because the time changes in like two days. And, um, uh, well, I just wanted to say I fished before school. And after the time change, it's going to be dark before school. But, um, uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different and it's actually good for you guys. I don't know if y'all ever use Biospawn or not, but if some of you guys are avid users of Biospawn, spawn lures i'm gonna be like your favorite youtuber after this like i'm not even kidding guys i have a promo code that'll get you 20 percent off your entire order from biospawn that code is right here all caps greg a but you know the link and the code is down in the description now if you're not familiar with biospawn here is the main four types of baits they sell as of now it's all soft plastic we have a 4.5 inch plasma tail which is like a finesse worm and then they have their 6.5 plasma tail sort of like a trick worm but what's different about these is they have the little plasma tail not only is it a different color that'll attract bass but that also floats up, which is really good for a shaky head because that means that your tail is actually going to float up and your and your worm will stand up because of that. But what they also have is the exo stick right here. This is sort of like your Cinco bait. You can Nico rig it really good, wacky rig it really good. I even like to wacky rig these, even though these both work very well on a shaky head and even a drop shot. And then last but not least, right here they have their vile crawl. This is like a crawdad bait. You can Texas rig it, put it on the back of the jig. Honestly, anything you would want to do with a little crawl bait, that's your crawl bait to go to. But anyways, guys, like I said, I don't have much time out here all i'm gonna be using that little 4.5 uh, plasma tail wacky rig it should do the job okay guys here we go we don't have any time to waste i got about 30 minutes before i gotta head out of here and go to school so you know here we go just a little wacky rig i really do have good confidence here like i feel like it's early morning even though it's very cold outside like i said it's like 28 degrees i still have a feeling that down in the water it's warmer than it is actually outside but anyways guys as y'all know it is saturday and on saturdays we do a verse the week just because you know god gave me the channel so i'm gonna give something back to him just keep in mind guys i really can't feel my fingers right now but anyways we're gonna go ahead and start it now instead of at the end of the video now we are gonna keep fishing but you know we're, i'm just gonna go ahead and do the verse the week right now this week i really don't have a particular verse as much as sort of a concept now i know that a lot of you you guys you go to school or you go to work and with me being just like you guys I understand that a lot of times when we go to school and work it sometimes you know becomes to where we sort of forget that God's there now of course whenever we go to church and everything we know that God's there we can feel him and everything but the fact of the matter is that he's not only at church but he is at church he's at work he's at school he's at lunch he is everywhere and he's everywhere all the time the thing about it is is that we just have to find him now at church it's like we already know how to find him we've done it our whole lives and we know how to find God there but with me being a student myself I understand that sometimes it can be really 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 hard to find God at school but what I want to remind you is that no matter where you're at God is always there and here's where my challenge is for this week coming up now, as the video is saying I'm actually got to go to school after this so I'm going to challenge myself to do it at school today and yeah guys I'm not skipping school I got to go to school ain't nobody got time for a tardy slip especially me but my challenge to you is to go out through this week I know that you're going to school and I know that you're going to your job so when you go out there just make a point to find God in those situations. Like there's blessings literally going on everywhere around you. It's just up to us sometimes. We just don't pick them out. But that's my challenge to you. Go to school. Pick out the blessings and just thank God for all those little blessings. They may not be big blessings, but there's blessings to be found. And so this week's verse of the week, it wasn't necessarily a particular verse as much as a concept. God is everywhere. You just got to find him. Now, let's try to catch a dang bass on my wacky rig before I got to go to social studies. Let's get this done, boys. Let's get this done. Yo! Yes, there he is. There he is, boys. Oh, yeah. There we go. Before school bass, baby. That's what we came here for. Not a giant, but bro, it's a bass and school ain't even started yet. That's good enough in my book, okay? That's good enough in my book. Just right there, top of the lip. Perfect hook set. He wasn't getting unpinned. Oh, not a big one. Probably every bit of six, seven ounces right there, but I, it doesn't even matter, guys. I caught a fish and I ain't even been to first period. Get in there, bubby. Now let's try to get us another one, hopefully bigger. Oh, bro, I just noticed this. I think there's there's definitely ice on the end of my rod tip. Can y'all see that? Like there's ice forming on the ends of my rod tips. Whenever I was reeling him in, I knew I could hear something scratching, but I didn't know what it was, but now I know it was ice. I'm telling you guys, I ain't kidding whenever I say I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel them right now. I have ice on my rod tips. 
That doesn't even make sense out here. It's March. But I guess that's just how it is. Hey, I'm fine with it. I've got one fish. That's good enough for me. Now I'm just hoping for one as a bonus. If I can get one now, I'll, it'll just be a little bonus fish. All righty, guys. Well, that's about my time. My time is done for fishing, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to school that way. You know, I don't get in trouble or anything, but i tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. I have some footage of me fishing this same exact bait at this same exact pond from a few days ago. I'm just going to throw it in here, and I do catch some pretty nice bass. So, you know, here's that footage. I still catch fish. Let's get on it, and I'll get back to you guys after school. There he is. Oh, yeah, baby. He's a pretty good one too bro like i ain't moving him he's not easy to move but i don't i don't know if he's okay okay he's decent he's decent yeah last year i remember at this pond all the fish were like really small but hey now we got a little bit of quality like bro this is actually a really nice fish i'm just gonna you know flip him i've got like braid on so yeah there we go first little largemouth bass of well, Mark, nothing gigantic, probably about a pound and a half, especially since uh, he or she's, you know, fat. This possibly may be a female, you know, may have some eggs in her, you know, give her a little bit of extra weight. But what that was on, that was just, you know, on the bow spawn, four inch plasma tail, you just wacky rigged it, you know, just threw it in there, right about that stump, twitched a few times, and boom, he ate it. Feels good, feels good, it does. I've not really caught a fish in, uh, well, it's been too long, guys. Now, we're gonna throw him back in there like that, do the same exact thing we're doing with that little plasma tail, and you know, we're just gonna keep doing it. Cause if it worked one time, hopefully it'll work twice. And we're out here on the lake, we're gonna be fishing with my cousin Tata over here. That's his name, Tata, that's good enough, that's all you need to know. But I'm no professor or anything, but I'm pretty sure the lake is fishing pretty good from what I've heard. We're gonna be throwing some A-rigs, some jerk baits, maybe even some spinner baits here and there. That's just generally what they bought in early spring, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we have the... We're gonna have to... thing around where I can get on. I don't know how. I'm trying. Just jump, just jump, jump. But yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing. Do you know what we're gonna be doing? Not a clue. Yeah, me neither. I'm not prepared today. I got off school and he's like, hey, let's go fishing. And then I said, okay. And then here we are today. And so, yeah, guys, first thing I'm going to be throwing is just this little Lucky Craft jerk bait. And, um, uh, well, yeah, he's throwing a spinner bait right now. I'm throwing a jerk bait. We're going to work around our points a little bit, secondary points, primary points, pockets. We're just going to fish everywhere until we find out where they are. And then here later in the day, if I don't start getting bit here in a second with this jerk bait, then, you know, I'll just switch over to an A-rig. A-rig and jerk bait's going to be my main two things I'm going to fish today. Because we don't have a lot of time, but we do have a little bit of time. And that should be enough, honestly. Got him? Okay, good. You want me to get the net? Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. It is. It's on. Oh, okay. Small mouth. Small mouth? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a large mouth. He's a, he's a 15 pounder. Oh, my goodness. That is a giant. That is an actual giant. That's like eight pounds not even gonna lie that is an actual giant okay well that's a pretty good start i guess make a guess first what do you say say five and a half yeah i'll say five where was he just like right there at the bottom of that tree or something was he deep oh, or shallow no. let's see what is it 5.37 that's five and a half basically same thing he's definitely a pre-spawner his tail's bleeding and everything that means he's up he has been up shallow, fanning the beds, making a spot, but it's, what y'all may not know is that my hands are like red and they're frostbit right now, so it's actually cold. We're actually going to put this guy in the live wheel just because, you know, hey, well, if we get two big ones, then we can have a really good Instagram picture. But um, what we're thinking is happening is, like I said, a lot of people said they've been catching them here the last week, you know, like crankbaits and jerkbaits. Well, today, that's not exactly what we found out. Right here, we're on a main lake point. Now, this is a main lake point, which we have figured out, like, this is where they are in the winter. So, how, like, a week ago, they was right up here, you know, getting ready to spawn. And like that guy, he was even fanning the bed. Because it has got very cold lately, and it even snowed yesterday. Like, I don't know how, but it snowed yesterday. 
it actually pushed them back made them stage backwards and now they're back out here where they were in the winter so that's basically how like the spring bass transition works if it gets warm they're going to stage in towards the spawning flats if it gets cold they'll stage back then if it gets warm they'll stage up if it gets warm again they'll stage up and if it gets warm another time a good another good warm stretch They'll just stage up, spawn, then they'll come on back. But um, uh, usually if you have a little cold front or something like that, the fish will just be like a few stages back from where they were the last time you caught them. Now we know a little bit where they are. Main Lake Points. He caught his on a jig. I'm using a jig right now. We're just going to keep fishing. Because that's what you do whenever you catch a big one. That's a good one. Get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Yeah, he's a fish fish on i may be able to flip him because <laughs> he's about four inches he's actually a spotted bass because he acted like he was big he is he's a little spotted bass here's a little easter egg if that's what you'd want to call it i caught him on a jig and if you look down the throat there's a crawdad sticking out i mean i guess you'd call that an easter egg for fishing but bro there's a stinking crawdad down his throat what we're actually going to do is we're going to pull it out and see what color it is because if we're using brown jigs and there's a black crawdad down his throat well, maybe we need to change the black and blue. Let's uh, get them pliers right there and pull it out. We'll see what color is crawled at in. We may need to, you know, change up our colors a little bit. Still got the whole craw in there. Yeah. Oh, it is. That's legit a blue. Do you have, like, just blue trailers, like blue sapphire or something like that? Because that's what color they are right now. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I'm going to throw this guy bone back in. See, bud. Now, here's the jig I'm using. Is that right there? Basically just a brown jig. What I'm actually may do right now is because the crawdad's claws are blue, I may switch to like a blue trailer because that's only what makes sense. I mean, I'm sure I could catch fish with the jig I'm using because I just did, but I'd say I may get maybe a few more bites with a blue trailer, but you know, I don't know. I'm going to try it, see what happens. See, now you're going over another rock. Oh my gosh. Is that a fish? Oh goodness, that's a small mouth, ain't it? Here we go. Oh, no! Oh! Well, I don't know. I guess that's just part of it. That was a good fish. It was a small mouth, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, Greg gang, I just wanna let y'all know that was a fire ending to a video, don't you think? Just please hit the like button for me. The reason I put such good footage at the very end of the video is so that I could reward the Grey Gangster that I knew would hit the like button on the video. So that I could reward the Grey Gangster that I knew watched the full videos. That's why I put the good footage at the end to like reward you guys for watching the whole video. If somebody's just come on, click on it for two minutes and leave, I guess they're not really one of the Grey Gangsters who gets to watch the good footage, are they? But anyways, guys, unfortunately, there's no service in this exact spot, so I'm gonna pop up. The Favorite Squad winner's right here. If you wanna subscribe, click on my face. And if you wanna watch yesterday's video, or, you know, well, the last video I posted, just click right about here. Anyways, Grey Gang, be sure to hit the like button, because, hey, I d we deserve it. We caught a monster.